fast. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, Saturday today, I'm all over my place with my filming at the moment. It's crazy. Just fitting in where I've got time at the moment. Um, so first things before I do anything, hopefully by the intro and the titles you can see now, I am happy to say that I am sponsored by Dino Days. Uh, Danny and Rich, thank you so much. Top blokes, honestly. Brilliant. Head over to their to their social media guys, their YouTube channel and all that, and their Insta, because they're amazing at what they do. They've got so much stuff going on at the moment with FN2s, EP3s, Colts. Uh, there's a Tidy Super on there. I'm not sure who that is. I think it's Rich's, but I'm not sure. Loads of different variety of cars. Um, predominantly, it is uh, Mitsubishis and Hondas, but they do do everything like BMWs, um, MG Rover, stuff like that. So head over to them, guys. Yeah, thanks so much, Danny. Uh, and Rich, absolutely amazing. Um, also, <laughs> my last video, um, Ben from Cowabunga Car Diaries um, pointed out a, I've got a slight Bristolian accent. Um, asked if I can read him a bedtime story. He's told him he can pick which one, so wait to hear back on that. But I've also got to give a shout out to his uh, girlfriend, Rach, because apparently she's quite down with the Bristolian accent as well, so... You know, I aim to please. Um, and one more shout out, guys, uh, is a gentleman. I don't know his name. Um, I have I have messaged him on Instagram, but uh, he hasn't got back to me. Um, I've chatted to him a couple of times. Uh, his channel on YouTube is called Limitations. It's FN2 content. Um, just doing like bits and bobs to his FN2, but um, really nice guy. Uh, really, really knowledgeable, all about sharing tips and helping each other um, modify and do stuff to our FN2. So head over, uh, have a look, give him a shout. Limitations is his, uh, is his page name. Give him a subscribe, give him some like, give him some love. So with that, I think, oh, no, yeah, let's get into the video. So guys, today's video is, it's not a great one. Um, as I said before, I'm sort of running out of money uh, to do stuff a minute. I'm still on furlough. Don't know when that's going to be coming to an end. Hopefully soon, cross fingers. But I'm just doing sort of like little jobs here and there. Uh, Mr. Phil Barnes, Mr. Phil Barnes, Lord Barnes. Uh, he dropped me over some wheel spacers. The last, so the last video I filmed or the, fil the video before where he, he came along and it was the last video I filmed, I think. Um, he dropped me over some wheel spacers because the backs on these, I don't like them, they're too tucked into the arches. So some wheel spacers to push them out. And I've got some for the front as well. The fronts aren't too bad, but we're going to see. Um, so I need to get some copper grease, copper slip, whatever it's called for those. Um, but that'll be for another video. Um, also in that video as well, I think we put my, I've got some TGR twos runners, tag runners. Don't know how you pronounce it. Um, I've got some of their wheel nuts. I've had them for about 12 months. And I've been meaning to put them on and I just haven't. And I don't know why because it's not really that hard a job. But I've just been like, uh, I'll find something else to do. So I'm going to do the spaces and the nuts in one video. Um, but yeah, so today's video is my CD player. I'll show you quickly. As you can see, the cage here. Basically, I spoke to Chrissy from Cowabunga Car Diaries a while ago, and he, I was chatting about installing the CD player because I think his is installed with the cage, not the brackets. And he said it's a Dremel job and da 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 da. So I've had a go at it. Me, my cousin's husband very kindly got his Dremel out, had a go at it, tried to get the cage in. We got it in the best we could without knackering it. Um... But I'm still not happy with it. It don't, it don't look the greatest. So I knew a lad who was... Are you serious? Sorry, guys. So on is calling me. But I'll have to just uh, ignore the call a minute. Um, someone was selling a brand new FN2 Facia with all the mounting brackets and everything for it. So I thought it was 30 quid as well. And I was like, I snapped his arm off. Like, yes, please. Give it to me now. So um, we're going to put all that in and uh, get it all looking nice again. So 
let me just get it set up and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so first bit we're gonna do, we've gotta get this panel off here. Basically, um, it's a bit different to if we were doing it from scratch. If you were doing it from scratch, uh, we'd have to take all the panels and everything off by the side of the car. But we don't have to do that because we're already, we're, uh, I've already got the double in in, so I don't have to undo everything. So these are basically, Good catch. I haven't got anywhere to put the flipping tripod, guys. It's a bit of a pain in the posterior, to be honest. But, uh, you'd say you're just basically balanced. As you see, just one little, uh, and you're gone. So anyway, take this panel off here. <laughs> it's just clipped in in a couple of places. Just be careful you don't break any of your clips, but I've had this one off quite a few times, so. It's literally serious. How am I meant to make it look like I know what I'm doing if it won't do what I want it to do? <sighs> this one is being a right get right at the back. And now I can't set you proper. Come on, just come on, you know. As always, guys, because it's not going to plan, I'm going to come back to you when it's done. And guys, got him, guys. What a little goon he was. Right, okay, so once this is off, you'll see you've got your three bolts up there. Just unscrew them. I'm basically going to take the whole fascia out. I could. I was going to take the CD player out before I took the fascia out, but I didn't. So I'll unscrew those and I'll come back. Right, guys, so I've got those, uh, I've got those screws out. And I'll just see with mine the whole thing just lifts away. Do go careful. Oh, do you know what? I think I am going to have to. Basically, guys, you've got all the, say, the hazard button is plugged in and also the CD player is. So I'm just going to unplug those and I'll come back to you. I'm back, guys. Right, okay, so I've decided I'm going to take the CD player out because it's going to be much more easier. Um, I haven't got the stereo keys, but employing the knowledge from my, uh, from my youth, Two kitchen knives. Sit down the side. Should. There we go. Who needs stereo keys, guys? When you've got two, two knives. Okay, so out comes. Uh, we'll unplug. Actually, yeah, we well, do have to unplug it. We'll unplug the. Aerial, the connects to, and the power line. Put that to one side. CD player, lovely. Tuck that in, and then this should lift away. Now, here's your plug, guys, for your hazard light. So just take that out. You don't want to rip that out. And then, as you'll see, all of these here. So you've got your hazard switch button, which is this one here. Um, and you've got the vents as well. These all screw in. So we'll go ahead and take those I oh thank god for that guys right so just more of me fingers but there you go so uh there's the vent so and the button out Okay, so now we'll take the new face here, which to be fair, like I would keep this one in, but as you can see, all the screw holes up here from the past where I've just been messing around with it, they've all snapped and stuff. So we're going to put the new one in. Uh, so it's just reverse thing really and put everything back in the way it came out. So I'm probably gonna time that assist bit as well just to it's boring otherwise. So I'll catch you in a minute. That's 
all in, fans are in and that. Right, so, next part on the kitchen. Oh! Oh, yeah, let's see. So we've got... Ew. Where's... Because my aerial lead is tuckered. Oh, I might have to, if I can get that out. Anyway, that's for another day. Um, so here you go, you've got some brackets that come with it. From what I gather, they go on to... I'm literally doing this blind, guys, I don't really know. So here's your brackets with an empty plastic bag in, which is great. Okay, and then these attach on here. Or maybe like that. So I'm going to crack on and get those on, guys. And then I will come back to you. There you go, guys. So the brackets are on. It's just three little screws you pop in each side. They're a bit of a pain. Yeah. They're a bit of a pain, but hey-ho. Ain't too bad. And now I'm guessing... So I ordered... I had to order because this CD player wasn't new when I got it. So I had to order the screws to go into the side of the CD pair. Now they've sent eight. So it's two different lots and I don't know which ones so I'm gonna have to use so I'm just gonna go through a minute and have a look and see what fits into the CD player and then I'll be back to you. So as you can see guys I don't know if you can see by the windscreen but it's just absolutely started hailstoning and horrible weather so lovely. So as you can see I've screwed the brackets on now it's just, it's more a case, guys, of just giving it a little bit of to and fro in and see uh, where you're happy with it. So that is it now. As you can see in the face, it looks so much better. I'm not sure about this uh, Meowza button's been a bit of a saurus, but that's all right. Um, so I'm just going to pop it back in now. Just plug everything back in. <laughs> Uh, where's that little bad boy? There he is. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm so glad I'm not doing outside car work today. That is horrific. Uh, Hazard light back in. <laughs> it's a bit sticky, that hazard light, isn't it? And I'm just going to slot this back in, guys. I'm going to tuck and feed all the wires. So if you've ever had your stereo out in your FN2, literally, it's just the most ridiculous amount of wires you've ever seen in your life. No, you don't want to go. What's we'll stopping it? Make sure, guys, because there's some clips in at either end. Just make sure they're all guided in. It's not going in this side. Why is that? Hmm. Oh, it's catching. It's so Ow! Screw holes are lining up. So what? Something on this side, guys. See it there? Oh, you can't see it because I'm not putting the camera in the right place. See here? It's not going in properly, so I'm going to investigate a second. So guys, I found the problem. It's ridiculous, really. Um, so this bit, I've got to make sure, because I'm using the forward-facing camera. So this bit here, it's a bit too wide obviously the bracket must be hitting it because when i trial this one this is the old one it's not straight on nice neat lines so and then in here you can see just here that's the problem so i'm gonna have to get a knife and start butchering the car i say knife because i don't own a saw unbelievable guys so 
right guys so I've shaved off as much as I can really there's a metal bracket behind this screw and it's actually a bracket that runs up to there so <sighs> annoyed but yeah right then guys so I've done as much as I can as I said before so now it's just gonna have to be a suck it and see and it is what it is because I can't do anything else about it at the moment better guys to be honest I don't know I don't really know what to do with it because I mean it'd be all right it's just the metal bracket there it's actually part of the flipping framework of the car so I don't really know what else I can do because I've unscrewed it but there's there's no movement now. It won't it won't move. It must it's part of the framework here, which runs all along here. So I think, guys, unfortunately, unless I can turn that, no, because it'd be further right then. I'm gonna have to admit defeat, guys. I think and just go with it the way it is and square it all back in. We're just going to have to do that, guys, because we haven't got the, uh... I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll get it all put back in anyway up here, so... Screw all these screws back in. The weather is just appalling, guys. It's gone horrific. So yeah, I mean it looks it looks a lot better guys than what it did. It's just that bit there sticking out. I, I, I do you know what actually I might do is get on to uh get onto some uh, civic sites and just see what other people have done because I'm sure I can't be the only one that's had this problem. Um because this is a universal kit, it's the Connects 2 kit, so other people must have had this trouble, not just me. Um, and maybe see what they've done about it. Maybe you have got to literally take a Dremel to it and just literally shave it off, but I don't have a Dremel, so... I can't. Right, so that's the... that screwed on. Pop it back on, guys. Yes, it is. I think we've got <sighs> so I'm not gonna lie guys okay I've just noticed that I've snapped my thing at the back snap from the snap from the clips off I need to shut my window I need to shut my window because it's house over like an absolute mother Ah, I'm getting very wet. Lovely job. Nope, I don't want to do that either. But uh, I'll switch you around a minute, guys. So there you have it, guys. I think it just looks a lot tidier. Um, buttons work and everything. It's a little bit annoying about that side. But like I said, I'll get on and I'll talk to people about it, but let's check the CD player actually works. Uh, 
Uh, um, uh, yeah. Happy days to guys, I just swear from our side. Right, so that's that, guys. As per usual, nothing ever goes to plan. So, as I just said, guys, nothing ever goes to plan, hey? You know, it, it is what it is. I probably should have done my research before. I always come into these things ill planned, but there you go. Um, but overall, it's not like I said, it's not that hard a job. If you've already got a double din and it's not that hard to take it out. Um, if you're putting a double din in, you obviously have to take a lot of the uh, the dashboard off. It can be a bit of a pain. I didn't think it was that bad when I did mine, but that's how it is. Um, so that's the end of the video today, guys. If you uh, liked it, give it a thumbs up subscribe down below um head over to dino days give them some love because they are gentlemen um cowbunga car diaries as well i'm trying to get it in the shot yeah. head over and give them a shout as well subscribe to them because the stuff they do is brilliant from mods to maintenance it's brilliant um and also actually i'd like to give uh fn lou a shout out because he's just announced this week that him and Francesca are expecting their first baby. I've made up for you both. Um, and if you haven't seen, he's got some little some little Honda dummies and a little FM baby. Baby grow is so cute. But um, yeah, congratulations, guys. Um, FN Lou as well, I must say as well, what a top lad because um, he actually messaged me and offered me his homemade rig because I've got a steering wheel and pedals. Haven't got a rig at the moment. Um, and he very kindly messaged me and said, look, I've got a new setup. Do you want my old one for free? Which blew me away. Absolutely blew me away. So I said, yes, please. And then literally maybe two, three days later, uh, a play seat challenge came up around the corner from me, barely used for quite a substantial bit cheaper than what they are in the shop. So I literally was like, yay. So I had that. And um, But yeah, thanks, Lewis. You're a diamond. Um, I think that's it guys for today. I'll see you on the next one and hopefully some better weather. Roosh!